Are you ready for a better Windows experience? I know I am. Because today, we're going to remove the absolute worst programs you could have on any computer or laptop. I'm Michael Scott, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. The first program to remove from any Windows PC is McAfee Virus Suite. This software is a barely passable virus scanning program that seems to update at the worst times. <laughs> and to make matters worse, it tends to render your computer completely useless during these updates. And these annoying updates will start on their own and you can't cancel it or pause it. This software is absolutely trash and will definitely slow down your system. And John McAfee, who created this pile of trash, is now dead for mysterious causes. Well, actually, they found him hanging in a prison cell in Spain from an apparent suicide. But not before he made over $100 million on the sale of this software. Pretty amazing. And if you Google his name, you can see that he led in a very eccentric lifestyle with a harem of women and even using $100 bills to light his expensive cigars. What a douchebag. Anyways, uninstall McAfee if you have it on your computer or laptop. And also, there is the old McAfee email scam that you need to avoid. If you receive an email from McAfee, immediately mark it as spam and then move it to the junk folder and never ever open it. All right, the next program to remove is Norton Virus Software. And this software does very little in the way of protecting your PC and it will drastically slow down your Windows computer or laptop. And Norton software will use a huge amount of your PC's resources. And this can be easily verified when you do a benchmark test with it running and not running. It's like night and day. And the virus protection from Norton doesn't work well and is well known for letting viruses and malware through its so-called security. And to be honest, I use Windows Defender and it's a free program that comes with Windows OS. And best of all, it's a lightweight software that works well. And to be honest, the best virus protection is you. Don't download any mysterious programs and stay away from certain websites like porn and don't open any email attachments unless you're absolutely certain who they're from, but even then, be careful. The next programs to remove are all Windows bloatware and pre-built PCs will have a ton of bloatware and that's why I build my own PCs. Examples of bloatware are Norton, McAfee, Mail and Calendar, your phone, Xbox Console Companion, Paint 3D, Mixed Reality Portal, Microsoft People, Movies and TV, Get Help, Solitaire Collection, Sticky Notes, Windows Terminal, Xbox Game Bar, Power Automate Desktop, OneNote, and lots of consoles for your motherboard hardware and your other hardware components. And there's a bunch. And don't worry, there'll be a full list in the description below. All right, the next program to remove is your wife or girlfriend's shopping browser extensions. And just a heads up, almost all browsers have their own shopping extensions. And PayPal Honey and Rakuten are the two most popular extensions. So the reasons for these shopping extensions is so when you're shopping, these extensions can check other websites for better deals, essentially finding the lowest price. But these extensions are super annoying when they pop up and they're very evasive. And it really takes the fun out of the shopping experience. And I find myself constantly closing these pop-ups when I shop on Amazon. Super annoying. And I feel it's better to do your own research and find the best deals on your own without being tracked through some sort of shopping extension. And I just don't trust those extensions and you shouldn't either. So get them all uninstalled. And the last program you should uninstall or turn off is Google Chrome. However, it can be difficult to uninstall Google Chrome and Google Chrome may resist uninstallation due to prevailing background processes or corrupted installation files. So make sure to go to the task manager and disable any background processes to see if the uninstallation works. Otherwise, just don't use it. I use Brave for my default browser, zero tracking and it's safe. So next, if you're looking for cheap Windows keys, check out this video right here. Or if you need a new mesh Wi-Fi system, check out this video right here. And I'll see you real soon. High five. Peace. <laughs>